For years, scientists have been carefully measuring Greenland's glaciers and watching them collapse before their eyes. But a new study has found the most dramatic change in Greenland's southwestern region, far from those ancient masses of ice. Greenland's ice sheet is more than 3,000 metres thick in some places. If it melts entirely, global sea levels could rise by seven metres. And it's not just Greenland, the world's biggest island. Ice is melting across the Arctic. I mean, the ice sheet is huge, you know, thousands of miles long. And uh, you see melting or loss of ice on the surface, around the edges, in the glaciers, uh, warmer water in the fjords. So the picture keeps changing because it gets warmer and warmer. After 2013, scientists actually found the rate of melting ice in Greenland had slowed down for about a year and a half, but the NASA satellites that recorded the data stopped working in 2016. The United Nations says keeping global warming under 1.5 degrees Celsius and therefore slowing down the melting will require unprecedented changes in all aspects of society. And climate change policy experts insist individual studies do make a difference. It's all incremental. Each piece builds and builds and builds. It builds public concern, public understanding. So no one study is going to break the dam. We've had plenty of studies that should have broken the dam. We've had observations that should have broken the dam, but they haven't. So you have to continue to build it. That momentum, though, is flowing in the opposite direction to the U.S. government's environmental policy. With scientists increasingly issuing urgent warnings about the environment, the Trump administration is moving towards exiting the Paris Agreement. The world's biggest economy, though, cannot formally withdraw until November 2020. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.